Hello, my name is Oliver Rushworth. I'm a second year medical student at Warwick Medical School uh, and I'm going to be teaching non-science student seminar this year. I have a background of graphic design. Um, my name is Caitlin Edwards. Um, I'm also a second year medical student and will be teaching non-scientists this year. Um, my background is in English literature. So we're part of a group of second year non-scientists um, who are going to be teaching seminars um, this year that are aimed at students in first year um, who are also from what we like to say is a non-traditional um, medic background, so who haven't had um, a lot of experience of biological sciences, um, so haven't done the biology or biomed sort of uh, base degree. So a student seminar is kind of what it sounds like, so it's just second years teaching those in the year below them in their own time, so in the evenings of a weekday usually. Um, basically what we found hard, what we found important and kind of teaching it in a way that's easier for non-scientists to understand. A lot of the um, course content in first year is quite heavy on the kind of um, cell and tissue biomedicine um, elements which if you haven't had an um, uh, academic background in those things can be quite overwhelming when you first start so we really benefited from having that teaching last year um, and wanted to continue it this year where it's just aimed at that kind of slightly more basic level where you know you might not know you know some of the, a lot of the terminology that's used in lectures um, and obviously there's a lot of new terminology and a lot of new concepts for everyone on the course but for those people who haven't studied science before there is you know all that extra stuff that you kind of need to catch up on so it's a really good way um, to be surrounded by other people who are in the same boat as you and to get teaching on those things that are taught quite quickly on the course. So what I found I really benefited from from non-scientists teaching last year was um, a lot of academic support, a lot of going through concepts at a much slower pace um, and particularly concepts that are kind of not assumed knowledge but are taught very quickly on the course. So you know I started the course I had no science A levels, um, no science background, really struggled with the kind of basic concepts like what is a cell and you know a lot of the terminology that's used on the course um, was quite confusing. Um, so just having the opportunity to be taught that and to go through those concepts at a much slower pace was really helpful. Um, and having a community of people that are all in a very similar situation to you was really, really beneficial for me because I felt that I could ask those questions that I felt stupid asking in different set in you know in a lecture setting or a different seminar setting um, because I knew that there would be other people in the room who had also never encountered those concepts before. Um, so for me, a huge um, benefit of non-science last year was that community element and being able to meet other people on the course who had a similar background or a very different background but also had you know, got that science core knowledge. Um, and that was really beneficial, particularly when the course got a bit more difficult at certain points across the year, having that community of people that I spent time with every week um, and could ask questions of and got taught from um, was really, really helpful for me. And I think a lot of people on the course felt similarly. Um, so again, it's, it, that's who it's kind of aimed at, is those people who haven't got that kind of knowledge coming into the course and feel like they could do with a bit of extra support, maybe haven't been in university for quite a long time, haven't been in formal education. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of who we're aiming at and the benefits that you can get from non-scientists. So non-science student seminar teaching is split up into three different uh, elements. So there's a pre-course session before Learning Medicine Week, which will introduce some of the concepts that are taught over Learning Medicine Week, which is kind of full on, a lot of new things to learn. So it's just a nice easing into those uh, concepts so you can learn the terminology and things like that. And then we'll have pre-block sessions, so a Sunday weekend session before each block, focusing on what we thought were the most difficult and the biggest concepts from each block. And then alongside this, there's going to be weekly teaching, which will be from a core set of teachers as well. So that's one of the biggest benefits I found with non-science is compared to other student seminars, which are just one block, and then you can move to different teachers with different classmates. Non-science runs throughout the whole year with the same teachers, same students. So you get to build up a really good rapport. You get to know where people's strengths and weaknesses lie, and you know who what you can say in front of other people you don't have to feel so pressured into knowing so much you can it's a lot more of a relaxed atmosphere so what i think is brilliant about warwick university in general the medical school is that there is a huge array of peer support on offer so non-scientists is obviously quite niche in a way and fits into that bigger picture of peer support 
So they have um, weekly seminars that are put on by second year students um, covering con topics that are being covered that um, week and every that's free, open to everybody. Um, they do anatomy sessions at weekends, physiology sessions at weekends, um, what's the other one? Peer? Yeah, uh, peer support, so really quick fire um, topics like 15 minutes just covering over a lecture um, and it's just great because <clears throat> you know these students have been in, in the same position that you have and it's kind of getting down to the nitty gritty, the bare bones of these are the things you need to take away from each lecture or from each topic. These are what we were examined on or what was difficult. So having that come from people who have gone through what you're about to go through is really reassuring and it feels like it can kind of just cut a lot of um, the less important things on what is a really tightly packed uh, mm -hmm. first year. And we would definitely highly recommend to anybody starting the course um, to really throw yourself into peer support, try all of the options that are available um, because they are, they are different and they will suit different people differently um, but they're a fantastic resource to make use of so I think everybody on the course would say you know from day one try and engage with all the peer support that's available. Um, so if you'd like to know more about um, the non-science teaching or if you're interested in coming along um, we've got a Facebook page up and running which we'll put on the screen um, so you can have a look at that and if you've got any questions um, feel free to ask on there. Yeah, so our first session is a pre-course session, which is Sunday the 23rd of September. So to find out times for that, visit the Facebook page. Yeah, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing you all in September. Yeah.